right, so for the last few months, I've been working on this ball robot or a sphere robot. Uh, the idea behind it is that it's a sphere that rolls along the ground. It has its own internal drive mechanism. It just looks like a ball from the outside, but it, it can roll ahead and it can turn. Um, so I've had to design every... This is a robot that I where I designed everything from scratch. Everything, everything you see here was designed by me. I mean, obviously not the electronics. I bought the pieces, but I wired them together myself. Um, all of these parts here that you see, these are all 3D printed on the 3D printer that I built uh, with PLA plastic. Um, you can see this is the main uh, body of the of the uh, ball robot, and it's pretty big. It's 250 millimeters or 10 inches across. It's it's big. Um, you can see over here that I've this is in OpenCAD. This is the design for it. So I decided to. I could have printed the, the main part of the body in one piece, but it was a 32 hour print, so I thought, well, if something goes wrong, it'll screw it all up. So I split it in two pieces, so there were 16 hour prints each, but there's all the parts for it, or at least the external body parts for it. Um, uh, this is the internal drive mechanism, and the idea behind this is that uh, this part here turns, you know, this would all drop into the the sphere part over here. This part turns. It's run by the motor down here. Uh, it's all controlled by a little Arduino down here, which is like a four-dollar uh, processor with some input outputs on it. There's a there's an L298 uh, motor oh, well controller there. There's a servo which turns this reaction wheel. The reaction wheel is filled with sand, so when you turn it, the uh, the ball can turn. You know, it will. The, the reaction wheel spins one way, and the ball will turn the other way. So. That's the idea behind that. Uh, it all works off a PlayStation 2 controller, as you can see here. And uh, uh, so, yeah, so it has this little receiver for the PlayStation 2 controller. So, yeah, it's wireless and so on. Uh, it's a pretty neat little thing. And you can s see if I start to move the controls on the PlayStation 2 controller, the reaction wheel here moves. And also, if I give it the throttle, the... Uh, this this part rotates. And it's got some speed to it too. All right, so the, you know you can see how it how it works. That, this all slides in there, and this motor provides the drive in this motor. This uh, servo here, continuous rotation servo, provides the steering. So that's the idea behind it. Well, the uh, I got it all together. I mean, I've had to reprint this like a drive chassis three different times because I've had to get it right for all the different parts and things that I've had to add on to it. I mean, it's pretty difficult when you have to design everything, for, you know, by yourself. It, it ends up being a lot of work. But um, this is the uh, the final version of it that I came up with. Well, you know, um, and then I found when it was all together that this motor in here actually doesn't have anywhere near enough torque to turn the whole weight of this 10 inch or 250 millimeter ball. I mean, it's just too much torque for this tiny little pathetic six volt motor. So. So there, so I, I finally got it all together and it didn't work. So I, it was time to upgrade. So what I did was I bought this uh, brushless motor, which is actually a really serious motor. You can see this is a this is for a remote control car, but this is a 2600 kV, and that's a pretty chunky motor. That's probably like a 500 watt motor. This is an 80 amp speed controller that goes with this motor. So this, you know we're talking about 500 watts. This is a really serious motor, you know, with a five millimeter shaft on it. Um, that is going to roar. You know, I figure with a diameter of 250 millimeters or 10 inches, it's going to need to turn at about, I think it was like a thousand RPM or so, to be able to do 60 miles an hour, which is kind of a scary speed for a freaking ball of this size to be doing. But um, with this motor and this speed controller, I think it's finally going to do it. So I'm going to have to redesign this chassis here. It's kind of partly disassembled because I was taking it apart. Um, I'm going to have to redesign this chassis a little bit to, to fit this new motor in. I kind of picked a motor that was very much a similar size to the existing motor so I didn't have to modify the design too much. And you know in this um, 80 amp probably that L298 is going to come off and this speed controller is going to go on there and then it is going to rip. Oh yeah because you know it's got a it's got a 7 it's got a 2S uh, 7.4 volt, volt uh, lithium battery lithium polymer battery on there um, so it's going to freaking roar once I get it together. But, uh, yeah, there it is. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, whoo! <laughs> that's the ball robot. Or the death ball, as I call it, because it's, you know, 
the intention is for it to do 60 miles an hour. So, so I think I can get it to turn that fast when it's all together. It will literally do 60 miles an hour. But uh, we'll see. This is a pretty serious motor, so should be a fun time. All right, that's it for now.